Morning everyone and welcome to our last coding class of the week. Are you ready to learn all about left and right, up and down and north, east, south and west? Are you ready? Let's say hello. Can you say booby Gary, where are you? Let me hear you great arse. Say booby Bunjani, Salbona, welcome guys. Let's say hello with all our friends at home. Can you wave hello? Ha is for hello, 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 hello. Can you wave hello? Hello, hello, hello. Wave hello to your left and wave hello to your right. Hello, hello. We all sing hello. Everyone, are you ready to go practice your coding by using left and right and up and down? Let's find out how it works. So, we are going to do coding language, which of course includes left and right, up and down, and then we are going to use north, east, south, west, like I've been explaining. So in order to do our basic code, we need to understand certain words and be able to apply them. That's important. It doesn't help that we know the words, but we don't know how to use them. And that's very important. So you will hear your teachers and mom and dad or grandparents speak about left and right all the time. And if you don't know which side's left and which side's right, then it's fairly difficult. So today we are going to explore them. So left and right. So I am waving left and I am waving Right. So remember, I'm turning so that you can actually see my hands. Otherwise, if I do this, you will see left, but I'm waving right. Or you will see right, but I'm waving left. So always remember when a teacher is standing in front of the class, you are seeing what we call a mirror image of what we are doing. So moms and dads, there is a very easy way for you to help your little one at home. You can take Q-Tex, okay, and color the right thumb for our boys and girls with red. So right is for red. So I have a red scarf here. I do see though that it looks a little bit pink in the video color, but it is red. So when I hold my scarf up, you know that I am actually holding up right, for right. So if I turn around slightly, okay, you will see that I am waving right now and my watch is on the left side. Okay, so just always remember there is a mirror image. So if you stand in front of a mirror and you wave with your one hand, you will see it on the other side. Wow. Then, of course, up and down. So there I am showing up. And if I put my hands next to my side, Mm -hmm. So there you can see next to my side, I go down and of course you can touch your toes. Okay. And then we're going to do north, east, south and west. And we are going to use our left and right and up and down to um, learn that. So let's try this. We are going to do left. So our arrow here points left. So that means it is pointing to this side, to the side where my watch is, okay? So when you see our blue arrow, it is left, okay? So in our hello song with Blueberry and Gary, we wave 
left and right. So let's try that. So if I've got Gary, remember it's a mirror image. So if I say, can um, wave hello to your left. If I do this, I'm waving left, but you are seeing it right. So I am going to wave this hand so that you can see left. So wave hello to your left and wave hello to your right. Hello, hello. We all sing hello. So important words. So this arrow you're seeing is pointing left. Can you wave left? So let's try. So can you wave your left hand for me? That's great. Our yellow arrow is pointing right. It is pointing to this side of the screen. Can you see that? Okay, so that means our for red, this one, Okay, if I turn, you will see it on the right side. Okay, so our arrow is pointing in that direction, in the right side. Okay, so it's the same with our song, left and right. So can you wave right? So look guys, my mirror image, I am waving right. So that means you must wave the other hand. But if I turn, Okay, then you will see my right hand. Can you do that? Fantastic. So let's try it with our song. Can you do the left and right hand with, um, with Boo Bear and Gary? So let's get Gary to do it for us. And I am going to turn our scarf around Gary's right arm. Do you see there? Okay, so wave hello to your left and wave hello to your right. Hello. Can you do that? Well done. So up and down. Well, this arrow is pointing up. That's right. Can you stand on your tippy toes and go up? Very good. So the arrow is pointing up into the sky. Can you point up with your fingers like this? Very good. You can also use your hands if you want to, pointing up. Our arrow is now pointing down. Very good. So now take your up fingers and turn them around and put them upside down. Okay, so let's use this in our game. So we are going to use our arms to show up, down, left and right by following the arrows. Okay, so again, I am going to use my red scarf in my right hand to show you how to do this. Okay, so when we are pointing up, then we are pointing left okay so remember i'm turning so that i'm on the same side as you okay then we are going to go right okay so i'm turning so you can see which hand is right and then we are going to point down so up down left and right are you guys ready let's try so What's the first arrow? It is left. So turn with me and go left. Fantastic. Up. Can you point up? Can you put up your arms in the air like that? And right. Can you see my for red scarf? Fantastic. And then down. Can you point down? And up. And left. Can you show me left? And right. 
There you go. Show me right. And point down. Can you point down? Good job, everyone. Do you know your left and right from one another? So mom and dads, just remember a helpful hint is R is for red and R is for right. So if you put a right Q-Tex mark on your little one's hand or tie a little um, red ribbon around the arm or the right side of the body, then your little one will learn which side is right. And then of course, you can make L for left with your fingers, okay? So now we're going to use those arrows to show our north, east, south, west, like we did on our map. So remember, guys, on our map, we have this thing here. Okay, that is our compass. And we have to use this when we've got maps so that we know in which direction we're going to go. And that's what we need to tell our computer when we're telling our, our game where the person needs to go to move left or go into the northeast direction. So we need to be able to tell our computer if it needs to go left or right or up and down or north or west or south. Okay, so that's why we're learning it. So here you can see that north is at the top. Okay, and then it is north, east south and west. Does that make sense? So let's try it. So if we look at north, okay, can you see that our arrow is pointing up? So our up is also north. N for north. Then we have the next one, which is, of course, right. So remember, right, that is what you are seeing. Okay, so our arrow is pointing right. Our next one is down, and that is for south. Okay, and here our arrow is pointing down. So we've got north pointing up. We've got east, E for east, or E for east pointing right. Our south is down. And then we've got west that is pointing left. Okay, and there is our arrows. So it's north. East, South, and West. Crazy. Are you following? Let's try it again. So, North is up. East is right. South is down. And West is left on our picture. So let me clear this so that we can go to our next game. So in this one, we are going to have to put um, our hands in the right direction when we see the north, the east, the south, and the west sign. So, fun tip, look for the arrow and where it's pointing. So, remember, there is our up, our right, our, le uh, our down, and our left. Okay, so, north. Can you point up? West is left. East is right. South is down. West is left. North 
is up. East is right. And south is down. Are you guys following? Did you get that right? Well done. Ask someone at home to help you with left and right, up and down, north, east, south, and west on our maps. So let's help John get the treasure by using our new words. So there's John, and here we have got a funny looking map. So I want us to use the words left, right, up and down to get this right. So here we go. So can you walk right? Okay, so this way to the screen. Okay, then what's the next one, guys? Do we need to go up or do we need to go down? We need to go down towards the rock. Then do we need to go this way, which is right? Or do we need to go that way, which is left? Left, that is right. We need to go left. Okay, so now do we have to go up? No, then we end up back at our tree. Or do we go down? That's right, we need to go down. Do we go left, which is this way? Or do we turn right, which is that way? Great job. It is right to get to our treasure. Good job. Let's do it again, but with our pencil. So can you guys help John get to the treasure? Does John have to go left this way or does he go that way? Which is right. Yes, we go right. Good job. Remember, you can answer in our chat box. So now, is John going up or is John going down? That's correct. We are going down with John. Is John going right or is John going left? That's correct. We are going left with John towards the pond. Then, do we go up towards the tree or do we go down past the rock? Correct again. We are going down past the rock. If I turn left, will I be going towards my treasure? Uh, uh, uh. So I need to turn right and then I get my treasure. Hooray! Well done, everyone. Do you know what is in our treasure? What is your imagination telling you what's in the treasure? Could it be coins or candy or a toy? What do you think is in the treasure? Hmm. So our words we have done this week is coding, instruction, decode, path, numbers, towards, object or person, fetch, action, past, around, walk, through. And our new ones is left, and this word is on the left side, and right, this word is on the right side. Then up and down, up and down, and north, east, south, and west. So just remember that you can tie a red ribbon around your right arm, or you can put red cutex on your thumb to help learn um, left and right. Try practice this with someone at home. So can you practice your coding words, especially your left, right, up, down, north, east, south, and west? 
Can you use the new words? Why don't you make a game at home? It could be a pause game. So when the music's playing, you have to go one direction or another direction. And remember, there are great songs that goes to the left, to the left, or to the right, to the right, or um, left foot, left stomp, right foot, let's stomp. So remember, there are great songs that helps teach you left and right. Draw another treasure map, but this time use the words north, east, south, and west, as well as left, right, up, and down. So say, can you go in the northern direction, or can you go left five steps? So this week was all about treasure hunting to teach coding. The next time I see you, we are going to try and actually code some things and perhaps use a few coding programs. But we don't want to go too fast because we need to make sure that we understand the words we're going to use. So on our Africa Teen Geek site, or in our slides and on YouTube, you can find this exercise where you can see the girl and the boy pointing left and right and left foot and right leg or left leg and right leg. And of course, can you figure out if the little boy's eyes are going up, down, left or right? And that's very difficult too. Can you do it with your eyes? Hmm. We owe it to our students, that's all of you, to bring what they're passionate about into the classroom. So guys, have fun and play and play and play. Join me Monday 8 June at 11 for our next coding class. And please always make sure in case anything changes to sign up to our Africa Teen Geeks newsletter that sends you all the class dates, all the class times, and all the links. Sometimes things change because we're adding a new class or a new teacher, and then we want you to still be able to be in our class. So always keep track of our social media handles, as well, of course, our Africa Teen Geeks website and newsletter. Go and register for it. There are some great games and programs and idea online for coding. So please go have a look. Are you ready to sing goodbye with Booby and Gary? I am, and I am ready for weekend. Are you ready for weekend? Let me hear you say, Booby, Gary. <gasps> Did you guys learn about left and right today? Good job. So you're going to use it in your treasure hunt? Okay, will you teach the other animals? Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, goodbye. We had some fun. We had some fun today. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Now let's go and play. Thank you to all our hosts, to all our sponsors, Lindiwe, Amanda, and everyone else that plays a part. Yevald, who was hosting us the whole week. Thank you very much. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye.